Greetings and welcome everyone to Gun Monkeys, a 1v1 monkey shooter thing multiplayer sort of game. It's it's a bit weird. Basically, um, you and one other monkey are fighting each other to the death in order to pick up this super fuel that will allow you to put it to power up like the technology of today, but you're getting the power from the future by teleportation and stuff. It's basically pretty confusing. So, um, let's start playing a game. So let's go to Asia since that's probably the closest to me. All right, connecting to server. All right, so now that we are, so this is what you do. You join the server that's closest to you and then you wait for a player. Once you get a player to join you, you'll get, well, you'll, once you, there is a person in the lobby with you, you can challenge them. And then once you challenge them, you can join them in a fight. The game has been out for a little while, so, so I've given it the community time to mature and all that. So now, while we wait for a match, let's just go over to my team and let me show you some of this little fancy stuff. Now, here is your monkey. This is what you play as. He's got, got nice little purple hair right now, but you can change him to be whatever you want. If you want him to be blue, you could do that. If you want him to be teal, you could do that. You could be making neon green or black. You can also change his little vest sort of thing, which is pretty neat pretty neat so now you can make him sort of pinky i'm gonna actually make my guy pink just so he stands out in the background uh there we go okay so now so now that we so the character customization is okay it's not exactly insane but it's all right enough so it's not team fortress 2 but it, it does allow you to change your color and have your monkey stand out from the other monkey that you'll be versing which looks identical except for your color so it's good enough. Still no person playing. All right, let me show you perks. Perks are basically, well, what they sound like. They're, they're bonuses for your character that will give you a certain boost. So now we've got like magnetic boost, which increases magnetic power up duration by 20%, increases push pull frequency by 30%, increases push pull strength by 20%. So we can just turn this on. We have mine boost, which increases mine radius by 20%, gives you two more mines. Uh, you just Basically, these bo these bonuses will give you um, will allow you to become more useful with certain objects. So you can purchase these these perks by uh, with in-game money. There's no real money about it, so this isn't like a free-to-play game or anything like that. So if you say win a bunch of games, you can then get money and then you can purchase a perk, which is all right. It does, they don't seem too overpowered, so it shouldn't be too game breaking if someone has a really good perk and you don't have any perks or at least it doesn't seem like it all right still no challenges all right let's go to settings then all right so in terms of settings that it's a fairly okay game you can remap your controls there's also a local multiplayer option so you can make a person who has you can make a player player two and they can also remap the controls and uh player one you can also remap it has um you can remap your controls fully so if you want to use up be like page down you can do that which is just great for people who prefer have their own personal preferred control scheme which is great I love that very good work by size 5 games is the developer I believe and uh, aside from that there's not much to say here it were it's it's very useful that they have uh, rebindable keys which is really nice on to graphics graphics is pretty good it has a lot of resolution options uh, graphics quality is Fast, fast, simple, good, beautiful, fantastic. There's no in-depth stuff as far as I can find, so you can't really find out what they mean by fastest and fantastic. Like, you just sort of have to take their word for it that they're making it fantastic. Like, what makes fantastic better than beautiful? You know, beautiful sounds better to me than fantastic, but, like, some people prefer, prefer simple in terms of graphical options, so it's a bit weird how they name it like that. But, so I would like, I would actually prefer it if they had actual options like, oh, this is anti-aliasing, this is anti filtering, this is MLIA and whatnot. But, but it, it doesn't really have that. It's just you're going to have to take the words on their preset graphical options, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, let's go on to lighting quality. you got low, low-ish, medium, high, and highest. Still don't really know what it does because they don't give you any more information. So you just have to assume, well, low is bad and high is great. Uh, there's also glow, which uh, is the glow of your monkey, which is all right. Shader effect uh, just turns off shaders if you're getting poor performance. It's fine enough. Okay, so audio. There's not that much to say here. It's basically it's got a volume slider, which is great. I love me some volume sliders, and 
that's really it. You got sound effects volume and you got the actor Kevin Eldon who voices the tutorial and occasionally narrates the gameplay, much like um, the announcers in Monday Night Combat or Super Monday Night Combat and all that. Ah, still no challenges. Okay, well, there is idle mode. Idle mode enters windowed mode and removes music, so you can check your email while waiting on challenges. And to be honest, you will be waiting a lot. Like, a lot. I've played this game for about 17 minutes, and when you're just trying to find a random match by yourself and not playing with friends, you'll be waiting a long, long time. So now let's just, uh, let's just change server. Let's go Asia server 1. There are, we already on that, actually. Uh, change server. Asia server 2. Let's see if someone's on Asia server 2. Because that's where it's closest to me, so that's where more, most people would likely be. Uh, no. So the... Yeah, the multiplayer is a bit, um, well, at least right now, the Asia section of it is about as active as a morgue, which is a bit of a shame. So, you, the, it is an indie game, though, so the community and the player base hasn't exactly matured yet, but it, w it is a shame that it isn't as active as it could be. Oh, actually, we've already got one. Wow. Okay, there we go. So, I had to change servers. Now, this means I am going to lag incredibly bad. But at least it's a person so I can show you what is going on. Although I have actually found people who have joined joined the game and told me that they're not actually trying to play the game. They're just idling for the cards in Steam. So <laughs> that's annoying. Like waiting for like 20 minutes for a person to join and then you talk to them and they're like, Hey, you want to play? And they're like, nah, man, I'm not actually interested in playing the game. I just want the cards for Steam. And it's like, oh, oh, great. Fantastic. That's because, you know, it's not like we want to play the game. No. Playing games? That's ridiculous. God damn it, Skyrimir. I'm trying to challenge you. Come on. Skyrimir? Don't tell me you're an idler too. Oh, dear. Uh, see, this is this is the main problem I have with the game. Trying to find a game is pretty tough. Like, it does have local area network or LAN, and so you can play solo and local multiplayer and all that jazz. But... If you don't have another person to play with in your house, or you don't have a friend to play with online, then you'll be stuck like this. Oh, God damn it! Fucking Skyrimia! Fucking... Let's play already. Come on, mate. Ah, oh, Skyrimia! Okay, yeah, this is going to take a goddamn while. See, this is why they have aisle mode in the game, because you will have to wait a really long time for matches, really. Like, uh, like I said, I've played for about 17 minutes, and I've played about two matches uh, that were randomly chosen. Like, I've had to... I got this game, and I played it with my friends, and that was great. It was good for, like, a few days. And then they decided, oh, you know, I don't really feel like playing it anymore. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I I'll just play by myself. And then, yeah, can't, actually. <sighs> So, this is the main problem with Gun Monkeys right now. The community isn't exactly the most alive. So, it's only been like a week or two after its release. And really, the most I see in terms of player activity is when they're idling for cards, apparently. Oh dear, let's just change server again. Uh, select region, United States, fine. I'll play with a goddamn Yank. Oh dear, this is going to be fun. Alright, there should be someone here, right? It's the US! The US has like, got like a bajillion people in it. Um... No? No, no US people. Okay, so, I swear, the, the game's not just the main menu. There is an actual game part of this game, okay? So, there's more to, the, to it than just the main menu. I promise. Okay, let's, uh, US Server 2. Let's, there's gotta be someone there. Gotta be. Okay? Yes! Sean! Yes, hello, Sean. Hi, Sean. Let's play a game, Sean. Come, don't tell me you're idling, dude. Please, Sean, accept the goddamn invite. Oh, this is going to be fun. Also, uh, if you notice any lag in this game, that is because I am Australian, and this is in a US server. So that means there's going to be a bit of lag if we do actually play the game, eventually. Sean, God damn it! don't tell me you're not going to let me play a goddamn game. Oh my goodness gracious. See, no, please don't tell me. Sean, come on, man. Be a bro. Skyrimir left me. Now I've, I've only got you. So, this is fun. 
This is just great. Looking for a game? Try the Gun Monkey Steam Group and check the chat room. I'll actually should probably try that. Oh, oh, oh! Here we go, here we go. Okay, finally, Sean actually was an idler. Yes, finally. All right, so we should be able to finally join and play the game. Okay, we're spawning the match server, waiting for match server to go live. All right, finally. Okay, so I can actually describe the game to you and what it is about. All right, so... We are monkeys that are being teleported in from the future to collect these weird blue orbs and then place them in this new little area. The maps are randomly generated, so everything you play is completely different each and every time. So, the sawmill will not be here in the next section, uh, or the next level rather. They will rather be, they will just completely change, and it's really interesting how they've done that. I'm personally not a big fan of, uh, basically, uh, games with randomly generated stuff, because I'm more of a I'm more of a person who enjoys a well-crafted game, like, this is exactly what they intended, but randomization kind of gets in the way of that, but it's alright. As far as randomization goes, it's alright. It, it it allows for a certain amount of freedom, and it is, it is pretty good so that those who are really good at the game don't get too good at the game and destroy for newcomers as they cannot learn any of the maps. They can learn certain routes that may get similar, but they can't completely destroy the game because of they because they know all like the good camping spots and whatnot. And that looks like it was going to kill me. I'm surprised it didn't. Oh, I got cryo frozen. Okay, yep. Yeah, that this is a power up that that person just got up got picked up, which basically freezes me until I die or I unfreeze. There we go. So the main objective is the game of the game is to pick up. Wow, did he just kill himself? Okay, the main objective of the game is to pick up these little blue cubes which are basically energy which will allow you to uh, power up like the e t technology in the current day or at least that's what the plot is about so wow okay yeah this lake is getting ridiculous i wasn't even anywhere near his his missile there and i died all right so he won all right so you want to pick up those blue cubes and then you bring them back to your home base and then you'll get a certain amount of points for doing that you can only hold three cubes at max so that is something to consider now you see there i got earnings depending on um, how much I had left over. And because I didn't really have that much left, I didn't earn that much. I actually think I got negative. But uh, that's basically what I used to purchase the perks. Now, th the loading screen here is actually really annoying because the, the audio here is always much louder than whatever you set it to. I've actually gone in the options and muted the game and had it still make a lot of noise, which is just weird. Alright, come on, there we go. Gotta pick it up. There we go, alright. Okay, now I need to find a way to get up there. Oh, come on, monkey. There we go, alright, sweet. So now there we go. I just got 95 more points, and then that has given me, well, 95 more points and a score. So now as we continue through the game, our points will gradually decline. As you can see right now, I am on 250 or something like that. And uh, I am on 250 right now, and as we continue down, the points will decrease. The only way to increase them is either by killing the enemy player or by picking up these cubes. And now, as we progress through the game, the cubes, the score will go down faster and faster, which will... Oh dear, he got me bad. The score will go down faster and faster, so there is never going to be a point where you just play on for, like, longer than, say, an hour. There's never going to be like that. Most matches last for anywhere from three to seven minutes. They, it is really the exception rather than the rule that they'll last anywhere over that. In fact, it's quite extreme if they even get to seven minutes, so that's something to keep in mind. If you enjoy like these short little bursts of multiplayer, then this game is probably a good fit for you. It's something to play just while you chill out and you just want to relax, assuming you can get a game, of course. Uh, the the multiplayer like in terms of the how it works is good enough it's mostly random and luck based because you'll get these random drops like this one over here which will probably like do something special like we just got a retro shooter and we can use that which is much more powerful than the basic item that the other person has like the weapon that you can start off with so it's really more about controlling the map than it is um really being that skillful especially when it comes into when, especially when ping comes into play, because if someone has a greater ping than you, then they're most likely going to win uh, no matter what. Which is a shame, because... Oh, hey, I got him, sweet. Uh, which is a shame, but the, hey, that's just how the internet works. It's pretty impossible to get rid of ping. Unless, of course, I suppose you play it local, 
which is a possibility. So if you want to do that, you can very well do that. And I don't have any arms right now because he just got a new power up, which removes my arms, which is just uh, fantastic. So if I, so I can't even shoot him right now. Oh, there we go. My gun's back. Oh, come on. Let me just, there we go. All right, sweet. Okay, now, now it's my time to shoot this guy. Come on, mate. So now the audio is a bit laggy, but I'm going to not blame the game, but blame it on, mo mostly on the fact that I'm playing on a US server. So do keep that in mind. So, all right, so if you're in the US, maybe it wouldn't be too bad. But if you're like me in Australia, then maybe it wouldn't be too good of a game to play. Oh, oh, oh. yes, hit him in the face. He didn't die. God damn lag. I hit him in the face with a nuke, and he just sort of brushes it off, like, ah, whatever, nuke. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. Okay, so, now let's just quickly p pick that up. There we are. Alright, now we just gotta quickly, continually do this. This is basically all you do in the game. In pretty much every match, you just find these cubes, and then you place them down. Then you, then you get points for it. There's no, um, oh, 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 gotta get him, gotta get him. Ah, oh, damn it, he got me. Uh, there's no, like, capture the flag modes, there's no, nothing, there's no other modes as far as I can tell, there's only just this, there's only pick up the cubes, then place the cubes, so if you want, uh, if you want a lot of modes in your multiplayer games, then this probably isn't for you, but it is a very cheap game, so if you just want to pick it up uh, for you and a friend and play for, like, maybe one or two matches and then never touch it again, then I can recommend it, because that's pretty much what happened around <laughs> around uh, me, anyway. Like, with all my friends, we played it for, like, one or two matches, then we just pretty much, like, uh, yeah, well, we're done with that for now. And so, I think that's how the majority of people have gone it, have played this game. There really doesn't seem to be that much in terms of replayability. It's just... Well, we play it, then we uh, just pretty much get finished with it because it, there's not that much into it. Like, there's not that much skill. It's mostly random, or at least it seems luck based. And yeah, that's basically Gun Monkeys. It just. It's basically a casual game to play when you're just chilling out. And it would be great, but the main problem with it. Oh, my opponent quit the match. Um. The main problem with it is finding a server or a match is really difficult. So trying to, say, be an Australian and trying to find a, a server with low ping is pretty much impossible. That's the real problem here. But if you pick it up and start playing it, then maybe we could fix that, you know? So, yeah. But I probably wouldn't recommend it just because, well, it doesn't really seem to... Be that great like the main problems with it is that well the way that it's made seems to be based around map knowledge like you know you gotta remember where the cube spawn and do that if you want to get good at it but the fact that it's randomly generated means that it has a sort of lower skill ceiling because of that so because of the lower skill ceiling it means like hardcore people don't want to play it and then casual people don't want to play it because well uh, no one's playing it like none of the hardcore people are playing it to start building a fan base off of it so it seems like it's not right for me, or at least not right. That's just my personal opinion though, so I could be wrong. Maybe in a few more months this game could completely blow up and everyone will be playing it and I'll just, I'll look funny because I have mud on my face or whatever. But right now it's a bit, yeah, it's basically just server browser the game right now, or at least for an Australian. Anyway, on that note, thank you for sticking around everyone. This has been Gun Monkeys and GG.